Hey. <laughs> What's up? Um, yeah, I'm back. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I know it's been a while. I haven't been on my channel in pretty much a month. I promise there's good reason. I will film an entire video kind of explaining everything that's been going on in my life lately, kind of give you guys a bit of a catch up. But today's video is all about High Smile. Instagram made me buy it. High Smile toothbrushes. Let's just get into it. Okay, so in my absence, I have done some Instagram made me buy it shopping trips online. I've seen advertisements for certain companies and certain brands. I see a lot of High Smile ads. And because of that, I was like, you know what? Let me just buy the High Smile. Let me buy the toothbrushes. Let me buy the toothpaste. Let me buy some whitening products. We're going to talk about it. But I don't want to fill this whole video up with all the products I bought. So we're going to do these in parts. Today's video is all about the toothbrushes. I'm talking the manual toothbrush and the electric. I got both, okay? When it comes to these toothbrushes, we're going to talk about the look. Is it, like, is it appealing? Is it worth buying? The price point and the actual quality of the toothbrush. Because when you see things advertised on Instagram, you're like, is this even worth my money? Well, I'm here to let you know whether or not the high smile toothbrushes are actually worth your money. Now, I got the manual one in the color green. When I ordered it, I ordered blue. I know I ordered blue. I ordered the bundle with the toothpaste and it's supposed to be the blue with the smooth mint. Now I got the smooth mint, but I got a green toothbrush. It is what it is, it's a toothbrush. But if you look at the bristles here, they're really, really soft. Like I actually enjoyed using this toothbrush. I have been using it for about a week or so. This is how it looks. You know, it's almost like, it looks like sea glass. Like it's, it's cute. I would say it's a cute toothbrush. It looks like sea glass. I actually enjoy using it. The bristles are very, very, very soft. Like I'm obsessed. It does come in this like plastic packaging. I should have known they gave me the wrong color just based off that alone, but I wasn't paying attention. I will say though, I'm a little annoyed that there's no like high smile branding on it. Like you can barely see the high. That's like, I don't know if you can see it. There's like a little high, like little reflection there. I wish it was a little bit more prominent. I wish it was maybe like white or something because it looks like a basic generic toothbrush that you can pick up at like your local Dollar Tree or something. There's no real branding on the toothbrush. So if you do like branding, this is in it. But if you don't like branding, you want something very like, you know, discreet, this is a good toothbrush. Now I will say the toothbrush does cost $9 if you don't bundle it with a toothpaste. You do get 30% off when you do bundle these together. You may or may not get the right color toothbrush. I cannot speak to them. I, all I know is I got the wrong color toothbrush, but I'm not going to fuss. It's, it's just a color. Now, moving on to the electric toothbrush. Yeah, I got it. I got it in pink. I think it is super, super, super cute. I love the packaging of this compared to this little plastic packaging, which I get it. This was like a manual toothbrush, a little plastic. It doesn't hurt nobody. It might hurt the turtles in the sea, but... This packaging I thought was super cute because you look at it and you're like, oh my gosh, it almost looks like a hot pink toothbrush. But in fact, but in fact, <laughs> it's a soft pink toothbrush. Now it does come in this soft pink kind of box. I'm assuming under here is the charging cord. Let's see. I haven't actually opened this up. Oh, hold on. My assumption was somewhat wrong, I think. This is open here. This is an unboxing too, by the way, because I have not opened this up. I've only looked at the toothbrush, but I haven't actually seen what's inside. And I'm right. Okay. So it comes with a charging cord in a user manual and this cute little high smile box. Oh, okay. Yeah. I personally thought it was going to be the same color as the toothbrush, but it's actually just a regular white cord. It comes with a little, little manual there. Um, let's see. The cord itself is not very long. It's just, what, like... A ruler and a half maybe it's not super long then again when you're 
in your bathroom you shouldn't want a super long cord but depending on where your outlet is and where you want to store your toothbrush that might be a problem i'm assuming down here underneath is where you actually charge the toothbrush ah i'm right i'm right yeah so you would oh okay interesting so i guess when you charge the toothbrush it would probably be smart to take the head off that way you don't get the head dirty on your counter or anything and then you just plug it in charge charge it up now the moment we've all been waiting for is the toothbrush worth it this toothbrush will cost 79 dollars canadian i don't know what it costs in other countries all i know is 79 dollars canadian it is super cute it is an electric toothbrush Ooh, these bristles are actually really really soft they are very similar to these bristles here on the manual toothbrush if not they are the same bristles very soft it has three modes here i don't know if you can tell there's gentle everyday and intense so let's turn it on okay that's supposed to be gentle okay that's everyday and then that's intense interesting now I am going to quickly brush my teeth with the um, electric toothbrush to see is it even worth $79. We are going to use a toothpaste that does match the toothbrush. This is the Cotton Candy. I think it's a collaboration with someone named Polly, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to do two pumps. Pour a little water on it. Let's see. I don't like gentle. Uh-uh. Okay, here we go. I like every day. Uh-uh. Okay. No. Oh. things to say I don't like gentle I don't like gentle gentle just seems too meh everyday and intense are going to be the two modes that I use the absolute most even though it sounded like it was on a super high vibration because these bristles are so soft it doesn't actually hurt your teeth like my old electric toothbrush you turn that thing on it would make my gums bleed like this my gums aren't bleeding. This is actually, okay, I'm not sure if it's worth $79, but it's definitely worth getting if you are someone who has sensitive teeth and you need soft bristles. I can only speak for the first time use. I will do an updated video for you guys talking about like, hey, does it actually work? Does it last? Does it break easily? You know, the heads of the toothbrush are interchangeable. I do know that from the website and from all the advertisements. So you have a pink body and a pink head or a purple head or a green head or whatever. Green body, you know, vice versa. You get the whole deal. I do have to say upon first impressions, this is a really good toothbrush. It actually made me feel like secure brushing my teeth. It didn't feel like it was a waste of money. It didn't feel like it was going to rip my gums off my mouth. It felt like it was cleaning my teeth and honestly using their toothpaste as well. It felt good. I will review. Don't worry. I will review the toothpaste. I have 14 of them here. But this was actually a really good toothbrush. I think I would spend more like 50, 40 to 50 dollars on this toothbrush. 79 seems expensive. It seems a little excessive in terms of pricing. But I have to I have to say first impressions. This is a really good toothbrush. Now, again, I will give you guys an update in maybe like two or three months to kind of give you a real deal review of like, hey, does it last? Does it even charge properly? Does it break? all that kind of stuff. But upon first impressions, this is a good toothbrush. If you don't want to spend $79, but you still want to get the soft bristle feel and you want the soft bristle quality, I will suggest buying this toothbrush. It is only $9 Canadian. Again, I don't know how much it costs in like the US or other countries, but if you're cool just manually brushing your teeth, go with the manual toothbrush. If you don't want to have to do it manually, you just want to kind of sit there and let the brush do the work, I would say, hey, get it. I mean, $79, if you find the advertisement, that also provides 
this toothbrush with five extra toothpaste because that's how I got this. So when I bought this toothbrush, I will say I got five free toothpaste. There is an advertisement that is on Instagram and there's one on Facebook. If you do find that advertisement, I suggest getting that deal. It makes it worth getting because you're literally getting five, let me see, what is it? Five toothpaste. It was these five. I got watermelon, strawberry, mango sorbet, vanilla, and grape bubble gum. And these are like, I want to say about $14 each if you buy them individually. Plus, I got the toothbrush. Plus, when I bought it, I also got the free um, teeth whitening pat pen. I don't know if the pat pen still comes with the bundle, but I do know you can find the advertisement which gives you five free toothpaste and this for the same $79. Find that advertisement, buy this toothbrush. It'll totally be worth it. $79 on its own as a toothbrush? I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't. Look for their deals. They have so many different deals on their website. I will link it down below. I'm not affiliated with them. I don't get any commission or anything. I just think, hey, you want to shop high smile? Shop high smile. It is a good toothbrush. I do love the bristles. I think it's amazing. Love the three modes, except for gentle. It just seems a little eh, too soft. Stay tuned for the next video. We are going to be testing out the toothpaste. Seven in one video, seven in another. Don't forget to check out everything in the description box down below. I am back on YouTube officially, I promise. You guys will not be going months or weeks without seeing me on my channel. It will be consistent uploads. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.